Welcome! Today I'm going to show you how to create your very own DIY camera using an AI Thinker ESP Cam. But the real question is, will it be better than the cheapest camera on the market? Well, stick around and let's find out! Before we get started, let's take a quick look at the features that I want to match with my DIY camera. I'm going to use the TP-Link Tapo C110 for reference, which out of the box has night vision, can detect motion and people, take snapshots, record video and also has audio detection. All basic features that a surveillance camera should have. Now let's take a look at what you're going to need to build this camera. If you want to replicate this project, you can find the all the product links and configs in the video description. I will be using an AI Thinker ESP cam because it's cheap and it's very well documented and easy to use. But the stock camera is not made for night vision, that's why I'm replacing it with a camera that doesn't have an infrared filter, so we can illuminate the room with some IR LEDs. Here you have a choice to make. You can use LEDs with a wavelength of 920 nanometers, which are less noticeable to the human eye, but not very bright, or you can use the most common 850 nanometer LEDs. As you can see, I've created a simple custom board that powers the SP cam and the LEDs through a micro USB, which can also be used for serial communication. But you can simply buy this 5V ring light of IR LEDs and solder it to your ESP VCC and ground pins to achieve the same thing. Now insert your ESP to the board headers and that's it. The hardest part is done. Ok, let's see how we can make it stream video. The ESP by itself doesn't have enough power to do everything that I want, so I'm gonna rely on a home assistant server that is running on my Raspberry Pi to do the heavy work. Open your dashboard and if you haven't, install ESP Home. Create a new device that I will call ESP Cam and enter your Wi-Fi name and password. Now it will ask you if you want to install it on your device. Click on skip. Edit the device that you just created and paste the ESP32 camera, ESP32 camera web server and switch configs at the bottom of your file. You can find them in my GitHub repository in the video description. If you want to just see your camera stream from Home Assistant, change the ESP32 camera internal to true. Otherwise, it's important that you leave it on false. Click on install and then select manual download, then modern format and wait until it finishes compiling. Now make sure that you are using Chrome and open the ESP Home Hub. Click on connect and then while pressing the IO0 button, connect your ESP to your computer and release it. Now you should see a new serial port pop up. Select it, click on install and then select your compiled firmware. Wait for ESP Home to install the firmware and then close it and configure your device in Home Assistant. And here it comes the fun part. How can we make it smart? For that I'm going to use Frigate, which can analyze the video stream for motion and object detection. If you don't know how to install it, check this video. Otherwise, open your Frigate config file and paste under cameras this, which you can also find in my GitHub repository. Specify your camera name and IP, and if your Home Assistant server is powerful enough, enable Record and RTMP. For example, in my case that I'm running every Everything on a Raspberry Pi I can't. And unfortunately we can't even enable hardware acceleration, so I will leave them disabled. Save it and restart Frigate. Now you should see your camera in Home Assistant and thanks to Frigate perform object and person detection. Unfortunately the ESP32 camera doesn't have a built-in microphone and there isn't an easy way to get an audio stream from it, so we have to settle for the video. Adding all the expenses, the ESP, the camera and IR LEDs without considering the shipping cost, my DIY camera cost almost as much as a Tapo C110 but has less features. So if you're looking for a fun project, this is definitely worth a try. But if you're looking for a cheap camera, this is not the solution for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Bye!